Welcome back to Mathotopia 2.0 and the return to our continued playthrough of Surviving the Aftermath, at least for a few more episodes as we check out a little bit more of the game. And thank you all for the support on the uh, little mini-series of this game as we uh, check it out. As I said before we even started to play the game, once the game officially comes out, I definitely am going to return. I'm a big fan of city builders in general. I did a huge series on... Uh, on Banished back in the day to the point where like the town was so self-sufficient that I couldn't do anything else and I'd love to have something similar going for here but for now uh, we're just gonna keep playing and uh, I've got some stuff I just want to chat about I haven't done an episode of a of a video where uh, of any game video in a while where I just kind of talked to you about some IRL stuff going on I usually save it for an update video and uh, an update video of a sorts is is certainly on the, uh, on the way um, but hang on a second. Let's we've got some we've got some things we want. Didn't we find some science recently? You are in okay, you're over here. You'd have a minor victory. It might be worth doing. Let's go ahead and see if we can uh punch him in the gut. Nice job. And now we're gonna have I don't know what that is. Nothing. I guess just a free road to <gasps> Guns, though? Oh, having some weapons on hand will go a nice long way. Okay, yeah, research right here. We want to grab the rest of that. So go ahead and take that. Awesome. Uh, and then over here, we'll go ahead and grab the rest of the meds. We should start running people back soon. Uh, just to, to drop off what they're carrying. Oh, was this new? Was this patched in or am I just only realizing it? Um, anyway, yeah, we're gonna kind of let the colony run a bit and I'm gonna do some tweaking and stuff while I while I talk to you. Uh, I also want to bring down the main music a little bit. So it's no surprise that things in the world are incredibly insane. Uh, and that's certainly been been we're gonna confirm. You know, everybody, uh, I'm not going to get into that. It's certainly a stressor uh, added to a lot of people's lives, including my own. Um, in particular, you know, uh, it's just, you know, a lot in my mind. And, and I, you know, I've been pretty open with my my struggles with uh, mental health in the past. Um, it, you know, it very much runs in my family. Uh, I've spoken very openly about my mother before. Uh, and, I, you know, because of all that, I've inherited some, some unfortunate traits that you know, I, I struggle and deal with every day and I can remember dealing with since I was very, very little, uh, particularly uh, anxiety. I am a heavy, 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 uh -huh. heavily anxious person uh, to the point where it can become debilitating sometimes, which is weird doing this job because of what it, what it entails and, and uh, you know, kind of just being in, in the public eye a lot. But I, I find this kind of, you know, my outlet. It, it's very, very strange. Um, but sometimes it can get to the point where it gets me very sick uh, and, and it's hard to function. And really, um, you know, I know that's hard for people to understand. I come from a place where I did not get that for a long time. I never really got anxiety making somebody sick. I, I always was very nervous, but I always managed it really well. Um, I was always highly anxious, socially highly anxious, but I was also a waiter for many, many years. So I kind of built this coping mechanism, this technique to be a uh, kind of at least outwardly charismatic and friendly and, and sociable person. Um, while on the inside, every time I'm having like minor heart palpitations and I'm nervous if people like me and, and I'm, I'm paying hyper attention to what people are saying and their body mannerisms because I don't want people to be bored hanging out with me. And I just want people to, you know, I want to make sure I'm paying attention. This is, you know, that kind of stuff is like what runs through my head a lot. And it, it can be, it can be a lot. Um, and, and I'm not here to be like, you know, looking for pity or anything. Uh, but I know I've been kind of in and out with the videos and a lot of that is just me trying to manage my anxiety. And uh, well, you know, I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more, I think in an upcoming video. Um, but I just wanna apologize and, and say to everybody, I'm sorry. Um, it's it's not, I've never been, this is the worst my anxiety's ever been in my entire 34 years of life. <laughs> I have never gotten to the point with my anxiety where I have been unable to function uh, or, or, or have minimal ability to do so. Well, you know, nausea and so on like that. Um, but it's very real and my body is reacting very poorly to it, especially lately. And I think on top of the stuff going on in the world, the past few years, I've been dealing with a lot uh, in my own personal life. Um, and my life is on the precipice of, of massive, massive change. 
uh, in the next, you know, f five or so months. If exciting change, not bad change. I don't want people to get nervous. I'm, but any change for me uh, is nerve wracking. It's very nerve wracking and scary. Uh, and so, can I get in there? Minor victory, and we'd have a a little thing here. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, let's do it. I mean, minor victory means we're good. I don't think that's a chance, right? We're gonna win. Don't kill me. Did we not win? All right, she needs to just, I think we just need to put her, bring her home. Um, uh, but, but know that I am, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm high, high, high stressing uh, about, about the videos and getting things kind of back on. Um, I have so many other things going on too. And it's just like to have the, I miss having the energy and the, and the, the mental health. Oh, like, and being in an okay place mentally to just like, crack on on all cylinders, but I hope and, and very much plan to be there sooner rather than later and know that I am going to be back into that spot where I am firing on all cylinders again soon. It's a lot, you know, life can be a lot and sometimes you get beat down. Uh, and uh, the, you know, and, but it's usually and hopefully in service of a better future. And that's very much what it's all been for me lately. And I cannot wait because things are only going to get so much better for me and for the channel. It's going to be great. I, uh, I've been working towards this for so, so, so long. And, uh, man, when it's finally all said and done, I, <laughs> I'm just going to be so thrilled. I'm going to be so unbelievably happy. So with that being said, uh, I apologize for the sporadic videos. I am doing my best to get everything up there in time, as well as maintain everything else that I'm doing with my D&D shows and Illuminati. Things are, uh, are working out well. Anyway, back to the colony. Uh, something popped up. I don't know what it was. Uh, let's go ahead and, and pick um, some corn as well. And uh, we've been we've been getting a lot of good research. I'm very happy with that. We I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this person who's irradiated. I'm hoping that we can figure that out soon. I also like want to figure out where like environmental stuff is. I basically want to get rid of all of the radiation. I just don't know where that stuff is. Oh, here it is, clearing heavy, okay. So we want to go education, uh, we'll get that. And then we want to go to hazmat engineering. And then guardians could be super neat. Gar guards are the backbone of defending the colony. Uh, assign people to guard posts so they'll gear up and focus on protecting. I love that. That's cool. I love that we have to research the tech to get that thing going. It's neat. Uh, we also have another another specialist here. I don't know what the reason is to not keep them, to not send them to the world map. So I'm gonna. We have money. I don't. We don't really need to trade for anything either, though. Is the thing you know. We're in like a really good spot. All right, we've got a specialist. Uh, it's him. We're going to go ahead and start, I think, sending him to ex explore a little bit as we have people kind of bouncing around while we'll pe people kind of hitting all areas of the map. So why don't we send him up to the north of Dead Creek and see what's going on for us out that way. Okay. Looks like our work area is finally done here. Um, we've got people working out there, so we don't we don't need them to go that far. Let's just move it to there. Well, once we have this nuclear waste out of here, we're going to be in such a good spot. The research shouldn't take too long. But it'll get there. I really wish we could upgrade things. Oh, yeah, that's right. We've got our little shanty towns and trappers and stuff now. Only two carriers. We need more people. But yeah, we've got a little shanty, a couple shanties out here. Oh, I just realized there's a fence here. I need to remove this nuclear waste. Yeah, we want to move this nuclear waste because it's going to become an a, a huge livable area. And then we have our other bigger shanty here, or tenement rather. What's this? Just a tool shop? What do we need right now? What is this? What are these crates? Fun box. All right, well, I don't know if fun boxes are needed. Uh, What else can we build? I don't know if I want to build anything that's going to... Trade Center enables trading with discovered societies. Favors are initiated from the trade menu. Oh, 
Oh, we definitely want that. Having a trade right up front makes the most sense, right? So having like the trade, the trade depot be right at the gate. Let's drop that. That's cool. Yeah, we want to be able to start trading more openly. Nuclear fallout. The horizon starts turning from blue to toxic green and the air seems to burn your lungs. These are the first signs of impending danger. Intense radiation is a constant threat with both colonists and crops withering and dying during a nuclear fallout. New seeds cannot be planted before it's over. Severe cases of radiation sickness and thirst take their toll on everyone. Harvest crops before they wither. Stockpile iodine pills, which we have, we've been grabbing, but we've got to bring that guy back. Build more medic tents or assign more workers to existing ones. Unlock and build saunas. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fill the nurse slot with somebody else. Uh, we're going to order all of our crops to be harvested. Now. And that won't be able to do anything else. We have one day before that happens. Is this high priority? I don't even know. I'm hoping they'll get it done. But two nurses working is going to be fine. Uh, let's look at our medic. We have three outhouses. I'm a little nervous. I don't I don't want to build a burial mound yet. I hope we don't need to. We'll see what happens. Looks like we're going to get our trade depot up soon. We have a lot of stuff waiting for us. All right, and specialists on the world map. All right, let's grab these nuts, I think, with this guy. And then, with you, we're gonna bring you home. New Mathotopia. You've got iodine pills, we're gonna bring them home. I don't- we- we might not get them back in time, if I'm honest. I wish we could do some, like, trading or something, like I could hand them off. That might make it go faster. And there's some tools up north. Nothing huge, though. Okay, they're grabbing the crops, thankfully. They're fighting, I think. That's They're fighting. They're talking, and she's she just got unhappy from something he said. Yay. <laughs> I'm glad about that. Small group at the gate. We're going to take them in, probably. Well, maybe not. A ragged bunch shuffles slowly towards the gate. Their clothes are torn and dirty with traces of dried blood. One of them pleads, Our caravan was torn to shreds by effing bandits. We got no place to go. Could you please help us? We'll give every little bit we have left for some medicine and shelter. Welcome the group in and alert the medic. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to take them in. Four colonists. The group is frankly surprised by your offer, having little words aside from thank you to say. The injured are adv uh, advised to see the medic immediately. Now we might want to build a second medic tent. I don't know like how overloaded it can be. So another medic tent might be good. With four colonists extra, probably worth it. Yep, we've got some irradiated colonists. We'll see what we can do. They might only be able to treat two at a time with two nurses. I mean, that would make the most sense, wouldn't it? The irradiation is here. They're going into the outhouses to get better coats because they needed it. And I'm hoping we can heal them up before things get too bad. All right, education is done. Uh, so what did this give us? We can make a school. Educated trait. Oh, wow. Future generations at schools is more. And educated children are gained a permanent education trait to go to school long enough. Education makes them more efficient members of society. Oh, that's really neat. Well, we want hazmat. That's what we're going for. Uh, a school, I mean, we gotta get, let's get through the nuclear fallout first. And before we worry about much else, and we really want this to be high priority built. Like, let's get this thing built first. <laughs> we need to get the, the second med medic tent up. Are we, are we good on homes? Yeah, we've got still one spot open. This tenement's been a, a lifesaver. Okay. Almost done with this. Let's go ahead and speed it up. There we go. We'll even pop another. We'll double up on the nurses. So now we'll have four nurses. Good to go. 
now? Who can go? Everybody can go. Good. What do you have on you? No pills, but you have weapons? I'm down to bring those back. You are still on your way back. You are also... Ooh, you could get in the car and maybe get back a lot faster that way. Yeah, let's bring the car back and see what happens. And we can all travel together in that car. Okay, I like it. Uh, let's see. Let's put... Let's keep you exploring up here. We can grab the tools on the way. All right, the nuclear fallout's about to hit. The trade center literally just finished. We have to have one person working it, and they are. The gate has a bunch of pills. We'll see how this works. I hope it works out well. Am I glowing? Mila? I mean, if you are, Mila. Mila? I don't know. Harvest now. Get that corn out of there. If you're, if you're glowing, go see the doctor. That's all I can say. But we've got a lot of people moving around in this colony now. Uh, let's see. Are you all good? You're all still collecting. Let's go ahead and build some more... Ah, the help. Again, we can build a school. I really want this area to be like our neighborhood, you know? So I'm kind of like... We want to deplete some of this, get some... Clear out some... I don't know if we need to actually clear out trees. No, we don't. But we'll get another shanty up. We're getting low on food. Which doesn't surprise me. I'm hoping the strike is like done. Or gonna be here soon. It says zero days. There it is. So there's gonna be the nuclear fallout. I don't know how long this lasts. Hopefully not too long. Alright. Let's get some people moving here. You go ahead and grab your tools. Let's keep you running back. Oops. Okay. Hang in there, everybody. Damage crops, yes, I know. Yup, we're not super low. Like, we're low enough. Okay, we finished the hazmat engineering training. Centralized repairs gives us a maintenance depot. General storage gives us general storage with an 8,000 capacity. We can also go straight to guardians, remembrances with rem memorials, which we haven't had anybody die yet. Or do we want to go out here for some power? What's logistics do? More capacity in the warehouse. I mean, these early ones are almost like needed, I feel like, and they're cheap, so let's just get them. In the meanwhile, we can now get an environmental station. Makes life safer and more comfortable by gathering polluted soil from the pollution deposits. Oh, we need energy, so we do need power. So we actually need to be doing some power here. Well, that's going to have to finish. Ah, I hope we have enough. We will. We'll have enough for one or the other. Solar panel or wind. Eight. But I'm assuming cheaper to build. And we have enough of these. All right, let's wait for this uh, little thing to research and then we'll move forward with that. Three colonists are ready to bandit at the gate. He's acting a bit odd. Well, he's a bandit, so, you know. A man approaches the gate with a hefty backpack bursting out with the seams with blueprints, measure sticks, and other items. He's all the usual bandit trappings, but is acting in a very unbandit-like fashion. Oi, oi! Might I address whoever's in charge? A master builder's here and you better listen. 
He's building a, mo a monument of sorts and needs construction materials. Oh, he's definitely fucking... Uh, he's, he's definitely uh, pulling our leg. But let's see what he, if he has anything more exciting to trade. Do I look like a deal of flesh to you? Me? I'm an honest bandit. Just want to make my mock in the world. Goodbye! Okay. See you, dude. I just wanted to know if he had, like, maybe some weapons worth grabbing. I didn't know he was thinking that I was gonna... I was asking for, like, slaves. I, I really wasn't. <laughs> Hopefully the medic tents are alright. Okay, let's get the others here. Please, God. Okay. Everybody in. Except for you. <laughs> You're going to keep exploring. Good job. All right, here they all come. Iodine pills and all. All right, we've got another shanty up. It's already filled. Uh, people probably came out of this. Yeah, we're going to... This is going to be like our influx grabber, and then we'll build to, to suit as needed. Look at the freaking crops are all radiated, dude. All right, research has to finish. Hopefully soon. Okay, your workstation is dead now, I think. Nope, it's fine. Wait. No, you need a new work area. All right, now we're super low on food. How long does this last? This is bad. Reclaimable materials completed. Yay. Uh, I guess we want to go with the one that's going to give us the most power, which is going to be wind. Let's get wind going. Three colonists are irradiated. Like, is this going to kill me? Is this the end of my colony? Do we truly not have enough food for this? Because now we're going to start starving to death. And we have no... I'm assuming no fish... Uh, I mean, he's there fishing. Um, you know, we have a trapper out here and we had farms going. We're getting food just slowly and not nearly fast enough, I think. So let if we can still fish and hunt, then we're going to have to drop like another fishing hut. Right? Because this is what? Yeah, it only gives you two. Let's keep it close. We'll make this super high priority. And our specialist is still ready to go. Uh, a lot of things, man. Research points I'd like. <sighs> Not that. Yeah, but you don't even have a gun, do you? This is high priority, so I'm hoping this gets built fast and we can get some more fish flowing in. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Four colonists are irradiated, but I think they're full up right now. Can you guys come over here and build, please? <laughs> Yo, how much longer? How much longer do I need to, uh... Let me get some wind turbines? I don't know if we want to be... Requires more maintenance. I don't know how far out we want the turbines. You know, I don't want them near the neighborhood, so to speak. Maybe out here? Let's get one up for now. Please, radiation, please! Oh, it's cleared. Oh, thank God, it cleared. Alright, let's leave all these up, but we need farms and food going bad. Bad, bad, bad. So, I hope they immediately get to work. We'll have some fish, extra fish flowing in in the meantime. We've got uh, a little power being generated. This will be almost done. Uh, and let's have you just get some scouting in over this way. 
All right. Scout for me, boy. All right, we can grab some nuts and bolts. I'm happy to grab that next round or the next day. Yeah, we're going to have some massive deaths and dying off, I think. Uh, the starvation is getting very, very bad. I'm watching everybody's health bars just kind of going down. Like, can we get another trapper up, actually? Out here has got some 100% efficiency, which, I mean, makes sense, but... I don't know. I don't know if you want to overlap. I imagine you don't. All right, we'll put another trapper out there. I prio. And there's our power, which is great. I love it. Don't get me wrong, but it's uh, unfortunately not my focus anymore. God, do we need food so badly. Okay, now this is to wait. Corn grows the fastest, but... Alright, Colonist Charlotte died. Rip. No carriers are free. Colonist under attack. They're gonna die. Madison, RIP girl. There's nothing you can do about that sometimes. Punch him. A group of survivors. You got food? I'll let you in if you've got food. You do have food. Welcome. You are welcome in, so we do not die. Oh, that could buy us some time. Time, 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 time. Well, are you punching another thing to death? And the unfortunate is we lost two two people, but we got three, three, three more back. So I'm fine with it. I think we'll put our burial ground out this way too. Just to give us some uh, space between where people are going to live and where people are going to be rotting. Colonists taking damage. It's all fine. Dead colonists, I know. But we're doing it, yo. We're finally, finally doing it. You need to go heal. Bad. Well, you know what? We can pop out a couple of these. And uh, we'll just leave this with no workers right now. Oh, this has to be built bad, yeah. Another high prio. Okay, more hunting. And we're gonna have to have a grave tender, I think. And get these bodies out there. Yep, there he is. So that's gonna get some people out. We'll get them buried. They can come remember them. As they essentially rot to death. Rot to death, Mathis. You know what? Good good words, man. On that, I think I'll end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. New Mathotopia had a rough go on this one, but uh, I think we're in a good spot overall. Till next time.